Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user asks, what is a cool tool for mixing and scaling STL files? Friends, I've got a solution, so let's get cracking. Friends, if you haven't seen my videos on Tinkercad, it is a fun way, but there are limits on what you can bring in. It's also a online program. If you'd like a program that you can put on your PC, the one you probably want to use is Mesh Mixer. It is free and it's from Autodesk. And once you've got it, you can use this little set of menus, import, and that's what I want to do is import, but I'm going to do it from the file menu. I've got a 3D modeling folder and I am just going to bring in my Pesca bug. Now you'll probably have something that you want to bring in. I'm just showing you how this can work. So I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to transform it. Currently you can see it's 52 and a half by 27 by one. If I want to scale it, I can type a number 1.25. Notice it did it to every side. Of course I can do control Z to undo that. I can also uncheck the uniform scaling and instead of typing a number, I can stretch it. And I can make it look however I wanted, just using the cool handles. Once you're done, you hit accept, and boom, you've just scaled or played with the STL file. Now let's say I wanna add a fun horn to this little dude. Well, I can go to Mesh Mix, and I can bring out any of the parts. All of these are available. I'm gonna bring out this little cone piece so now that I've got this guy in here, I'm going to shrink him down real fast. I'm going to say that I just want him to be 10, and notice I turned on uniform scaling, so they all scaled at once. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to, instead of using the handle, use the arrow to pull it where I want. And now I want to move that nose up. Let's see what happens if I just do 50 for this. Notice Z is not going the way I expected. So I'm going to go back to that 21, and then I'm going to change it in Y. Let's go 21 this way, and you'll notice that moves it up. Now we need to pull it out, so I'm going to take X, and I'm going to change it to 10. That's the wrong way, so I'm going to do negative 15, and now I can see it. Let's do negative uh, 10, and now my nose is pretty close to touching. But the other nice thing is now I can use the handle to get it exactly where I want on his little face. Once you're done with that, you can hit accept. All right, so that was adding a part that's in the shapes library. What about adding a second STL? So I'm gonna hit import and I want to append. When this comes in, I am looking for one I created called a butterfly. So I'm gonna just do butter asterisk and press enter. I think I want this one right here and notice now it shows me the object browser this is showing me I have three parts and this is my butterfly that I brought in now I want the wings I don't want the body so what I'm gonna do is right now I'm gonna hide the first two parts and then I'm going to eliminate that center of its body and actually flip this so under edit I'm going to plain cut. And when you plain cut, right now it's cutting right here. Well, I want to cut in this direction. See how I'm flipping the plane, and right now I'm snapping out on these axis right here. I want to go to right here where the wing is, and right now it would keep this side. So I'm going to hit accept. Nope, that's not what I want, it's the opposite. So I'm going to just do control Z and I want to keep this side. I'm getting rid of all of this extra stuff and now I'm hitting accept. So now I have got a wing and I've got these body parts. I'm gonna bring these out and notice my wing is the wrong direction. So I'm gonna go back to edit and I want to transform and this time I want to rotate. You can see here on the green, that is the direction I wanted. Once again, I'm just gonna come out to this edge and find my 90. And now I have got my wing. I can use the arrow to push it to the right spot. I'm going to use the arrow to lift it to what I think is going to be the right height. Let's push it back like this. And it's not going to fit perfect because this is just a silly idea. But it's still kind of fun to show you how you can take anything and you can mix it in. 
Now currently this bug, he squeezes. So if I have this connected right here, it wouldn't work. But check this out, I can bring it back. I'll move my object browser. I'm gonna tilt it a little more this way. <laughs> it still would be a problem because it doesn't print in this direction. But you can see how much power you have to adjust and create whatever you want. Now I want this same part on this side. If I move right down here to this bottom spot, there is my duplicate. And then I wanna take the second one and I'm gonna transform it, pull it to the other side, and I wanna flip it. So I'm gonna just rotate it just like this till it fits exactly where I want. I'm gonna switch to the W so I can get back to the normal movements I was looking for. So there's my up and down and that is pretty darn close for the silliness of this project. And you can see how you can just mix anything you want, any way you want using Mesh Mixer. Now I wanna take all of these and turn them into one part. So what we do is we come up here to the object browser and select them all. I held shift to do that. And now we can hit combine. And there you have it friends. All of a sudden I have got my Mount Pisca bug with a sweet horn and some silly wings all using STLs in Mesh Mixer. Friends, this is just scratching the surface of what Mesh Mixer is capable of. It's tons of fun and in a pinch, you can edit your designs to get the results you want. So my friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.